Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This is a review video of The Brute and The Tribe by Damn Designs. And first of all, I want to apologize if I sound strange because I've been kind of sick for the past few days. I've been putting this review video off because I haven't been feeling so good. You know, uh, my voice has been pretty bad and I think I'm starting to recover right now. So I thought this would be a good time to record this down. Just like the Cerberus Spinner that I reviewed a couple of videos ago, these were actually sent to me by Adrian as a birthday gift. So once again, thank you so much, Adrian. I really really appreciate it. These two are pretty darn awesome and they complete the Turbulence family. And I have to make a disclaimer right now guys, these are all prototypes. So they are not the retail version. You guys can see that it is a brushed finish. And I do believe that a polished finish is actually offered on the retail version and that is super sick. Now about the Turbulence, you guys know that I really liked it. And this I have already stone washed. And originally the Turbulence comes with a vortex or portal button but since then them designs has improved their buttons and now these feature the gyre buttons you guys can see that beautiful spiral design gives it a very interesting look when you spin it i like it i dig it a lot uh, i just want to say really quickly and this is really random but you guys know that them designs always has one very very stylistically placed logo on one side of the spinner right so i'll show you guys with the logo facing up look at that including the turbulence my turbulence actually has a logo right here but it's really faded because I stone washed it. But if I put it like that, there's this OCD about me saying, hey, why aren't these all in the same direction? <laughs> like if the brute had the logo on this side, then it'd be, I guess, a little bit more even. Right, that's just my opinion, guys. It's just something that I wanted to point out. Nonetheless, let's just get the turbulence out of the way and let's talk about the brute and the tribe. Now, you guys already know I really enjoyed my experience with the turbulence. I enjoy it. I like it. I think it's an awesome spinner. And since the turbulence is a quad spinner, I'm going to talk about the tri spinner version first before we talk about the brute. So the brute is going to sit right here. In my opinion, this literally is, like I said before, a tri version of the turbulence spinner. Now, if you actually one of those that enjoyed the design of the turbulence spinner but did not get it because it was a quad and you guys just don't like quad spinners, this is going to be your answer. This is a perfect, let's call it an adaptation, a perfect adaptation of the turbulence into a tri spinner. This is awesome. It's got everything thing that the turbulence has but it has improved buttons the finishing and everything is great there's nothing to complain about this really because the turbulence was already a great spinner and i know that there are a lot of turbulence fans out there now with the tribe it is a tri spinner a little bit more pocketable instead of having four arms and for stainless steel it weighs in at about 65 grams and for titanium i think it was like what 35 grams or something like that yes this is also offered in titanium it is offered in stainless steel as well as copper guys so three different materials but i don't know what's left on the website you guys got to check it out as always links in the video description but yes because Cosmetics wise, this is really, really good. I like the triangular design. It's got very interesting angles like that. And at first, the turbulence kind of looked like a pinwheel design. But when you have it in the tribe, this looks so angular. I really dig it. It's like there's a triangle this way. And then there's a triangle up here as well. It feels like that because these angles here are just really nice. So it's like geometry heaven. I really dig it. I really dig it a lot. Plus, the dry buttons make it super comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable fidgeters that I've tried so far. And the best thing about this family of spinners is that there are no flats on the arms. They're all angled. You can see all the way around, they're all angled. The only flats you'll find is along the sides and these are actually really comfortable because they're a good width and they are not sharp at all. You can see that everything has been nicely rounded. Yes, also because of the brushing, but I've seen the polished version and I'm gonna say that these are also very nicely finished. So let's talk about the fishability of the tribe because it is awesome, guys. If you're someone who enjoys performing preloaded flicks or pulls, this is super, super, super comfortable because here is the perfect spot for your fingers to land. Whether or not you're having your middle finger out here or two fingers like that, or even if it's out here, all these angle edges are just so comfortable. And you get a different feel and different feedback when you flip it over because this is an asymmetrical design. See? Right now here, this part feels a little bit like a finger hugger right here. It doesn't hug your finger as much as the turbulence does, but this actually feels pretty good. Now let's talk about forward flicks. Forward flicks with it in this direction is fine because of the angle, see? It's a nice long angled edge when you have your finger in here. If you flip it over, it's a different feel because you actually kind of pull it back even further and you feel more of this part against the top of your finger instead. Really different feels and really, really very comfortable. So smooth. And I, I don't know what to say, guys. It's really good. I will say that it is one of the top fidgeters that I've tried. Now, moving on into a middle finger and thumb grip. Pullbacks are good. Push forwards are good. Even if you land up here, it's good. See that? So if you have your finger here and you pull back, it's going to hook on this part over here. Kind of like a hockey stick. 
So when you reach here, it's gonna be able to flick it back. See that? Oh guys, that reflection is nice. <laughs> now changing the direction, this is the only one in my opinion that isn't that great to fidget with. Like if let's say you have the longer edge this way and you do a pull back, you kind of feel your finger just slipping off. So there's nothing really here for you to grip on. You just feel the whole thing slide off like that. That's the only downside I would say. But if you push it forward, that is great. That's really great. Really, really good. So it's kind of funny because initially I thought if I held it in this orientation with the edge here, the long edge here, I would find some difficulty giving it a push forward kind of a flick. But that's not the case. That is not the case. The only not so comfortable, and it's not even that bad, it's just not so comfortable way of holding it and flicking it is this way, just pulling back. It's kind of like, okay, I won't say the word comfortable, it is satisfying. So this is the least satisfying way of fidgeting with the spinner, in my opinion, but it's still good anyway. It really is comfortable. So that was the wrong word, guys, sorry. I meant to say satisfying, not comfortable, because this is really comfortable right here. And of course, fidgeting with the fourth finger is just as great as fidgeting with your middle finger in an index finger and thumb grip. One of the most fishable spinners that I've tried and experienced. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And it's a great price point. Good job on this, Adrian. Good job. I like it. I dig it a lot. Super comfortable. Very pocketable. And it is a great spinner. Now, let's talk about the Brute. The Brute is a bar version of the Turbulence Spinner. Now, I'm just going to always call it tri version and bar version of the Turbulence Spinner because the Turbulence was the very first to be released. But here we go, this is the Brute everyone. And even though it is an adaptation of the Turbulence Spinner, it is slightly different from the rest of the family. Now, the reason why I say that is because these arms, they're not only thicker, wider and chunkier, it also has this little groove on the sides. And this in my opinion is very, very visually pleasing. Just. It looks good. And this is nice because having a bar version of another spinner generally just has this edge kind of curved or like something else. But this, this is nice. It's a very good design choice, Adrian. I dig it a lot. Plus, give the spinner an area where you can get some tactile feedback in case you guys want to use it as a worry stone. You could kind of hold it like this and then you could feel that edge right there. It is nice. Very, very nicely finished off as well. Yes, although this one is a prototype, so yep, the finishing here isn't that great. But when I said that the finishing is good, I meant that it was not sharp at all. Every single edge has been nicely rounded off. Even in pictures that I've seen of the polished version, this looks to be great as well. Now, just like the Tribe, the Brute also features the gyre buttons that are super comfortable. And this actually has a little bit more of a sound when you spin it. And I believe that is because of the bearings that are inside. Now, the Brute is not the best fidgeter around, but it provides a unique spinning experience. And the reason why is because of this design. It's one of the most exaggerated asymmetrical style spinners. Look at that, it's like literally looks like a lightning bolt. And it's not curved or anything, it's just straight angles up. Yes, there are curves here, but I'm talking about the arms itself. So this kind of gives you two very different feels when you're holding it. Now, one is when you have a bar spinner that kind of tapers outwards. Like let's say for example, from here, the buttons and the arms go outwards this way, like that. Okay, uh, think of spinners like the Thrax, for example, all right? And then the other kind is when the arms taper inwards very much like the splice. Now what I'm trying to illustrate here is that if you hold the spinner in this orientation, okay, right here like that, with your finger out here and the arms going this way, this feels like a spinner that has a taper going outwards on the arms because you actually have that right there. So it feels like that. Now you have this little space here, feels like that. But if you flip it over, then you get the same feeling as when you're holding and handling a spinner that is tapering inwards, like the splice, for example. Because here, there's no wall for you to rest your finger on, basically. So it's really, really, really interesting. This feel is really interesting. Like, I could get a lot of different, I guess, different feelings, different feedbacks, different, I don't know what you call it, like a different, I can't even say it's a tactile feedback. I guess the best way to say it is a different fidgeting experience. This is, this is just something else. It's not the best, you know, it's not the best because sometimes it might slip away because it's so narrow, you know what I mean? Like sometimes it just slips away and out of the finger that I want to flick it with. But if not, this is actually something that gives me a very, very wide range of a fidgeting experience. That's, I think that's the best way I could say it. Like it's not fantastically great, but it's not bad either. It's just that it provides various different fidgeting experiences. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the best way for me to explain it to you guys. Now with the index finger and thumb grip pulling back in this corner here, it's super comfortable. It's got this wall here and so curved. And if you get your finger up here, you actually have this little groove or this little notch here that actually provides you a little bit more grip. So you get a nice pull back, see that? Like the only downside is if, let's say for example, you stop it kind of like that, then yeah, it's a little bit far away. And it's so narrow, you see, it's so narrow, so you can't even use like this part of your finger to kind of push the arm forward. That's just something that you guys should take note of. But pullbacks are good, 
push forwards are also pretty good and the reason why they are good and I was surprised by this is because of this notch over here. If the spinner did not have these notches, I think that it would be too smooth for me to kind of just give a nice push forward. I don't think I would be able to do that. My finger would probably just slip right out. But because of the notches here, I'm able to get a little bit more grip. But the grip is applied inwards towards the button. So I'm not just purely pushing forward like that. I'm kind of having my finger inwards a little bit and pushing upwards, kind of like in this direction rather than this way. <laughs> I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So changing the orientation up, this is also very nice for pullbacks. And really, I think that everything is just attributed to the way the arms are made. Like I said, there's no flats up here. So all these areas here are just super comfortable for your finger to land on here, even on the tribe. It's the same thing as the turbulence. I really love that fact and that trademark of the turbulence spinner and to have it in the try and bar version. That's just awesome. I mean, guys, just look, it's super satisfying super super satisfying i love it i dig it a lot and now talking about push forwards in this orientation push forwards are good because you actually have this arm sticking out like that so when you push it forward you have something for your finger to lean on so you pull back push forward the only thing is that i'm not able to get a nice kick if i don't first pull the spinner back i gotta do that first back then i can kick it forward see so it's kind of like back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Yeah, like that. That's how I'm able to get a nice, satisfying push forward in this orientation. I'm not able to get it in this orientation though. Yeah, it's not as satisfying unless I have my finger pressing inwards, like I said, then that's okay. Now changing the grip up into a middle finger and thumb grip, pull backs are okay, push forwards are okay. There's no problem with fishing with the index finger on this spinner because this area is really, really nice for your finger to land on. This is the part that provides you all the grip you need for a pull back or a push forward. See that? Okay, I'll show it to you again. Pull back or a push forward. And I love the fact that if you land up here, you can actually have the whole spinner slide and slip under your finger just so you could do that again. See that? Oh goodness, that's nice. That's a very, very nice feel because this is really comfortable. Now, changing the orientation up this way, pull backs are good too. Look push forwards are good too so really no complaints about the fit stability in this grip and orientation this is good of course in my opinion this is a better fit but this gives you a different tactile feedback and different spinning experience each and every time that is my opinion also yes guys this is also available in copper stainless steel and titanium i'm not sure what else is available on the website right now but make sure you check out the link in the video description down below for the damn designs website now let's pop the buttons off and show you guys what's under the hood yes guys it is the very standard bearing retention system the vertical press style so all you gotta do is just grab yourself a bearing removal tool and then just undo the cap that's it. So this one actually has some stainless steel bearings in it and this one has something that's very much like the SBV2 and I believe that it is the SBV2 in there. So that's why the spin feedback between these two are a little bit different because they use different bearings. Pop the buttons back on. So all in all guys, basically if these are prototype versions and they're already so good, let me tell you the retail version is going to be even better. I've not yet heard anyone, any single person complain about their tribe or the brute and I think that it's a great design, it's a wonderful design, I dig it a lot. I fell in love with the turbulence when Adrian first sent it to me and I already thought the turbulence was actually pretty good. At that point of time, I'm going to be honest, at that point of time, it felt really good. It felt really, really good. There's nothing wrong with it now, but the fact that now these actually have the gyre buttons, these feel even better and I guess I kind of wish I could just go back in time and say, hey, Adrian, make the gyre buttons earlier or kind of instigate him to make it earlier so that it could be featured on the turbulence as well because now that I've experienced that, they just go on like a hand in glove, you know what I mean? Like nothing's wrong with the vortex buttons or the portal buttons. It's just that now, after experiencing the gyre buttons on this family of spinners, I'm gonna have to dig up for another gyre button somewhere and put it on here. Like really, they just they just fit. They fit perfectly. So good job once again to Adrian of Damn Designs. And guys, here comes the part again where I tell you some good news. If you want to grab yourself one of these, it could be anyone. It could be the turbulence even. The turbulence or the brute or the tribe. As long as it's within the turbulence family in any of the variations, that means in different materials or whatnot, guys, use the coupon code turbulence during checkout and you get yourself 25% off. 25% off, guys. That is one quarter cheaper. 
and it's a super, super, super good deal. Now, just like in the Cerberus video, I'm going to put the expiry date of this coupon code in the video description. So make sure you go check it out. Don't be too late and don't be surprised if you watch this late and you're late to hop on and take advantage of this really wonderful discount code. Sorry, because these, if they sell out, I don't know if they'll ever be restocked again. I really have to apologize. I do not know. I know that the Cerberus and the Cerberus family of spinners like the Hex and the Hades, they're going to be discontinued once they are sold out. But this one, I don't know. And let's be honest, all of us spin enthusiasts, we know how difficult it is to procure a spinner that we want once we miss it. We know that. That is a fact. <laughs> so 25% off, guys. Hop on it. Don't miss out. I think they're really value for money. They're not even that expensive. Just trust me on this. They're not expensive. Just check out the website, guys. And that's about it. Thank you so much for sharing in this slice of my life, everyone. I hope that I provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the tribe, the brute, and even the turbulence is a spinner or are spinners for you. I'm really happy I got the whole family right here. They just look so sweet right next to each other. Thank you so much for watching all the way throughout again, everyone. I appreciate all your support. Once again, links in the video description down below. Make sure you use the coupon code and I'll catch you all in the next slice of my life. Gaga. Boost.